Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I am sorry for the noise. We are all under quarantine, sadly. Um, I hope everyone is safe. Wash your hands. Wash your hands, please. I am stuck in the house with my family, kind of going crazy, but I decided to make a YouTube video and do a colorful look. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram like what you guys wanted to see and I had a lot of requests for um, a makeup look. So this is basically what I came up with. Um, I didn't plan this. I didn't even know what look I was going to do. I just went with the flow and this is what I got. I wanted to play in my new ColourPop palette. This one, the whatever palette. And the rest is just like the same palettes that I've been using from the very beginning. I didn't film myself doing my foundation or um, my brows and stuff like that. Um, I think I started at like my contouring because you guys know like my foundation and it's the same and I didn't want this video to be too long. So I wanted to focus more on the eyeshadow and that. I hope you guys like this look and if you want to know how I achieved it then please keep on watching. Auto focus on this thing is kind of playing games but I'm just going to roll with it. Um, I've already done my foundation and um, like setting everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and contour this pimples are going oh. I'm using the same things to contour so this is the James Charles palette and yeah it's what I've been doing for a while now I'm using like a cool tone shade around the perimeter and to contour. I took a break from wigs and I feel like my forehead got bigger, but I realized that my forehead was always the same size. I'm just tripping. <laughs> and now for my nose contour, I'm taking a smaller brush like this and I'm going in with the same shade to do my nose just so I can be more precise. I like to shorten my nose like that. And so with like my reverse contour, I basically already made the lines and I'm just filling in. I just focus a lot up here. Now to blend that in and make it a bit more like warmer, I'm taking the Il Maquillage Bronzer in Waka Waka and just going over it with that. And then I'm also doing the same thing with the, the contour and going over it with the bronzer. And now using a bigger brush, I'm going into like the bronzer I usually use, which is these two warm shades. And we're going to put that all over my face. warmth it creates a lot of you ask me like what's the warmth around my face oh the heck and now for blush um ColourPop sent me their super shock chic no super shock cheek oh that's hard to say um in the shade quarters it's a nice like burnt orange kind of shade but also pink at the same time my type of shade the color is nice but I like a bit more like pink so I'm gonna go in with my Stila blush and I don't know the shade number or the shade color it's like literally broken and I don't know where I'm going to find another one like this. I have to be careful with this. I'm going to make it work. And I'm just going to brush off my under. 
under eye. Taking the white and yellow shade from the James Charles palette and just wiping off the rest of the powder. And also setting it and like giving it color. And now it's gonna set. Okay, I zoomed you guys in. I hope it's focused too. I can't tell, my camera's just been giving me a hard time, but anyways. I'm not gonna put anything on my eyelids. Um, I feel like I don't need it. Um, I do need like, if you were to put something on your eyelids, I would say like use a primer or something, but concealer also breaks it down really fast, so I'm just not gonna use that. But um, for the palette that I'm using, um, well, one of the palettes that I'm using is the Whatever palette by ColourPop. Um, this one's actually really, really nice. This is how it looks. I can show y'all. It's super pretty. There's a lot of shades that I would wear. Like most of the, yeah, like all of these ones, most of the matte shades and the shimmer shades I could see myself wearing as well. So this is a nice palette. So I'm going to start with it first. Well, the first shade that I'm going to be going into is Copycat. Right there. It's a really pretty shade. Like it looks nude, but it kind of comes off like pink. If y'all can see that. It's so weird. I'm gonna put that all over. I actually don't know what kind of look I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> I'm just going for it. Like, isn't that weird how pink it is? But it's literally nude in the pan. Now I'm gonna be going into Pass It On right there, and I'm gonna put that more like on the lid. And this is my Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number, but it's just like a fluffy blending brush. Hmm. I guess I kind of want it more red. Okay, so now I'm going to be going into Bad Guy, right there. It's kind of a maroon. I'm just going to be taking a bit more of a dense brush. And apply it more to the outer parts. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted. It doesn't have to be perfect, just place it there. And taking the first shade that we used, I'm gonna blend that out. So copy that. Mr. Brightside. It's this dark shade right here. It kind of looks like a dark brown, but it has some like maroon as well. And now I'm just gonna darken the crease area. So I just want this shape. Now I'm gonna blend it. Kinda looks crazy, but trust me. So I'm gonna blend it with bad guy. how 
this is turning out. And now I'm taking the dark shade, like whatever's left over, and applying it up here. Okay, I kind of like how it's looking so far, but I want more of like a orange in here. So again, I'm going to take Copycat, which was a bit lighter, just like that. It's kind of like cutting a crease, but with powder. And I'm going to take the yellow from the James Charles palette and apply that on the inner corner. Going back into the ColourPop palette and I'm going to take Bad Guy. And then I'm going to blend that out with Copycat. And like I always do, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna place a like gold shade on my waterline. I kind of changed my mind. I'm gonna put orange over here and this is the orange shade from the James Charles palette that way the yellow it can make sense for the yellow to blend in Kind of like ties everything in together. Now taking this like nude lighter shade, peachy kind of light shade, gonna highlight my brow bone. I'm really liking how it looks, super colorful. And now I'm just taking a brown shade from um, the James Charles palette, and I'm gonna do like a little wing nothing too perfect messy is what I like After I do like the messy with the brown, I go in with black and just go more closer to the center. And then whatever's left over, I just put it on my lower lash line. I'm going to apply some mascara and this is my L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon and Black. Once 
went ahead and I applied my eyelashes off camera. And I'm not sure where I got these. I have no idea. But you guys can put on any eyelash that you like. And I forgot to do highlighter, so I'm going to go and do that. And this is my Jouer highlighter in the shade, yeah, Citroen. I don't know why I always forget, but it's Citroen. Clear gloss. And lastly, taking black eyeliner, I'm gonna make some marks. Ugh. So I have a birthmark here, but I'm not liking this pimple, so I'm gonna make it a birthmark. With that, I'm gonna have one here. done with the look here it is you guys asked for a colorful look and there's your colorful look um, I really like it I actually like how it turned out it wasn't planned but I guess I made something up um, okay so that is the end of the video and I hope you guys really enjoyed this look um, this was actually pretty fun, so if you guys want more videos like this, let me know in the comments and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. And sorry for the noise. I'm really sorry. We're in quarantine. There's going to be noise everywhere, but uh, follow me on Instagram if you don't already at underscore delizzle. Yeah, underscore delizzle, and my Twitter is also the same. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video.